All right, welcome everyone. Welcome to number five, session number five. And this is the wrapping up uh, session. So um, I would like to get a feedback today in terms of how far you were able to get with the assignment, uh, when we might expect them all to be loaded by, uh, and would also like to collect some user experience data. So we've also got a questionnaire for you to complete. So um, but let's open up first of all. Uh, are there any opinions or frustrations or uh, issues that need to be resolved uh, by the people who are here? Yeah, um, do you want to raise your hands? And then I'll go through. So the question is, uh, are there any frustrations or issues that need to be resolved in order for you to complete the assignment? Does that mean no? All right. So it sounds like everything's on track, that we should um, have a full set of uh, materials from all of you. Uh, remember, there are two, two items uh, per person, and you've got to persevere. You've got to get it into EduConnect. Group one struggled, but now I'm going through the EduConnect, and I'm noticing that um, there are over 56 new resources in the database. So that's very exciting. All right. So uh, your group two, uh, and I'm afraid the lesson we learned from group one is that you just have to persevere. You've got to keep trying until you get them all in. It doesn't always work first time, but um, I would strongly advise you to have a go. All right. Um, uh, the next thing I'd like to um, uh, just talk about very quickly is, um, did you, uh, let's just go through the EduConnect section again, just so you're very clear, because uh, by now you should have your OER already developed. Hopefully you've got the OER license uh, already embedded on it. And um, now you need to upload a resource. So I'm just going to go very quickly through part of tutorial four, just to refresh your minds and your memories so that you can all get your materials in. All right. The piece I'm looking at is about publishing on EduConnect. Actually, I might as well do it for real. Let me do it for real. Right, first of all, the URL to get there is mopsy.online. It's a very short little URL, but it'll take you to the database. Uh, the database is looked after by the Ministry of Primary and Secondary Education, and um, therefore they do have a round of quality assurance. So when you load your resource in, it won't immediately be shown. All right. Um, however, the Group 1 materials are beginning to uh, be released. So it is working. It just takes a little bit of time. All right. First of all, you need to either log in if you haven't already created your, your um, account or if you uh, sign up. All right. To sign um, up is pretty easy. They only want four things. They want to know what's your first name, what is your surname or your last name, what is the email address that you are using? And what is the password? And could you confirm your password? All right. So um, that's, they don't ask for much. Uh, can you sign in? I'm going to sign in. I've already done this. Uh, there's my username. My password is hidden from you, but it will allow me to go in. All right. Notice in the top right-hand corner, my name appears here which means um, I'm now ready to upload a resource. Note, you can't upload a resource if you don't, if you're not logged in, all right? They're not going to allow anonymous people to put things in. That's just asking for, for trouble, all right? So you have to have a little account and with it uh, with an active email and um, uh, make sure that you are logged in. Um, some people uh, in group one were saying that it says it sends a confirmation email. So you've got to go look for it and find the link in the email that will prove that it is an active uh, email account. All right. So make sure that you uh, put in there an email that you have access to. All right. Cool. Once you are ready, then you can go to submit a resource. See in the top there? Submit a resource, and it asks you some very basic information. First of all, what are you going to call your, your, your resource? Who is the author? Who is the person who needs to be accredited for having made it? 
is there a resource publisher? A lot of the people are just putting in Mopsy here. Um, and then can you select um, which grade? So if you choose a grade, you'll notice that the next subject, select subject, the next field uh, is filtered. So only the subjects available for grade two, for example, are now appearing in here. All right. Uh, I'll just choose math and science. Uh, what is the resource topic? Can you take that from the curriculum? You had to go in and find um, a link, uh, a specific objective to address. So in which section or which topic does that appear? Can you type it in here? Um, and then a short description. Don't go too crazy, but just what is it about and how does it work? Then it says, what is the resource type? We are asking you to create teaching and learning resources. So please choose this one. And then what is the license? Now you've already thought about the license. You had to put it on your PowerPoint or your Word document. So please make sure that you choose the same license as the one that you put on your, on your um, resource. What is the format? Audio, document, hyperlink or video. If you go for the first two or the last one, then it's going to ask you to submit a file. If you go for the hyperlink, then you have to paste in the hyperlink of where your resource is. All right. Most of you have got things like PowerPoint and MS Word. So you would choose probably a document and then you can drag your um, file onto this space here and then you can uh, go close. It'll put the address the local address of where it is in here, and then you can say submit resource. And then you're going to get a, a message saying that it has been submitted for approval. That's as far as you can take it for now. All right. Mopsy needs to approve it and release it into the database. And then I can pick it up and uh, uh, check that all the bits and pieces are in place. All right. So keep that in mind then. That's the piece from tutorial four that you need in order to complete the assignment. Lekka, all right. Any other questions, any queries? Are you clear on what's required? Cool. All right, I'm taking that as a, I'm good. The next thing I'd like you to um, uh, have a think about then is, um, a little evaluation form. We've prepared a little form for you. I would like you to do it now in the session. Um, and I'm going to put the link in the chat and in the WhatsApp. Um, we really value your, your, your input, your insights. Um, keep in mind that everyone is trying to work out new strategies to teach remotely. Uh, we're the same. We're experimenting with different ways to do it. So we really like to know what works, what doesn't work, et cetera, et cetera. All right. So I'm going to give put the link now. Make sure I've got the right one. I'm going to stick it in the chat, uh, chat, 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 in the Zoom. So if you want, you can access it from there or you can access it from the WhatsApp. We know the WhatsApp works quite nicely. So let's get the WhatsApp up and I'll put it into group two. I would like you to spend uh, the next 10 minutes or so working through this resource right here, right now. Um, Putting in here is the uh, evaluation form, and the uh, we would really like you to to um, give us some feedback so we can improve the way we run these sessions. All right, so now you have um, two ways to access it, either from the Zoom chat or from the um, WhatsApp group, and. Uh, here it is on the screen as well. So I would like you now, uh, while we're here, while I can see you in action, uh, to actually complete the form. All right. So um, first of all, we want to know your uh, your email address just so we can keep in contact. Um, I found the content and skills of the tutorials relevant for my teaching. Um, uh, the tutorials were easy to understand, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So they're pretty straightforward. 
Um, and there's occasionally a place where you can put in an explanation so we understand what your thinking is on that issue. Um, but most of it is really like radio buttons, okay? And we would like you to rate things from strongly agree to strongly disagree, et cetera, et cetera. All right. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to shut up for a little while, um, but I'm watching uh, as, the as the responses come in. So can you now access either of those two links, either in the WhatsApp or in the Zoom chat, and can you fill it in now? It's designed for phones, so it should work nicely on your phone if that's how you're uh, interacting today. Okay, they're coming in slowly but surely. Keep working. All right, let's have a look at what's coming in. The um, just I'll just share you the, the general information. Um, we try to keep it anonymous and so that um, there's no punitive actions. Uh, first of all, did you find the content skills of the four OER tutorials relevant to your teaching and learning? And um, admittedly, we're pushing group one and group two together. Um, but at the moment, we're seeing that just on 70% are strongly agree, which is very encouraging. All right. This is something that you feel that you could use in your teaching and learning. And another 27.3% agree. So that's very powerful. Only a very small wedge on neutral about whether they would use this information. I will skip that a little bit. Then we asked, the tutorials were easy to understand. Make it a bit bigger so you can see. Um, tutorials were easy to understand. And um, you can see the figures flick there because the responses are still coming in. 66.6 um, or 0.7. Now it's up to 67.4 now. Uh, agree that they were uh, they weren't too difficult. Um, they were easy to understand, and uh, just on 20%, strongly agree. They thought they were actually quite cool, all right? They were uh, in terms of understandability. We've got 10% saying they're neutral about it, okay? So I'm going to have to have a read through these ones below to find out what were the negatives involved with that particular, particular item. I'll look at the bottom one. No, no, they're basically looking good. All right. Uh, which of the following is not necessary to consider when you develop your own OERs? All right. And just on 90% got this correct, which means some of the content that you went through has stuck, which is very encouraging. I mean, it wasn't a very hard question, but uh, that's very encouraging. All right. What device did you engage with? the tutorials. Okay, we're up to 50 responses at the moment. And we can see that 88% of you are using your phones. All right. So uh, that's, that for us is very important. Um, we need to understand that you're trying to negotiate with all this content and all the activities using your phone. All right. 10% have got a laptop and a small percentage have got a tablet. All right. And uh, no one seems to be using a desktop these days. Did you experience any challenges in using the device you used? And, well, it's vacillating at the moment, but it's about half, half, 50, 50, is um, saying some of you did have issues. And if we have a quick look at some of the, some of the reasons why, we can see network, network, network. Although there are a few others as well, like I'm struggling with EduConnect. Um, I'm struggling with Zoom. Uh, my 3G is, is not much, not very good. Um, I'm not really up to speed with these licenses. Uh, my screen was too small. Um, Fail to open two screens using a smartphone. Okay, so that idea of flicking between the two screens, I know you could do it on the Apple, it's uh, relatively easy. And I think the Samsung's even, or the Android's even easier. But yeah, it is a skill you've got to pick up. Let's have a look at the bottom. Um, poor network. Okay, where did you complete the learning pathway from? So we wanted to understand where you're working from. Um, most of you are still at school, 
All right, 76% are saying that I work from school or from work. Um, and then about a fifth of you are accessing it from home. And there's a couple of sprinkles of other areas. Okay. Um, overall, was your connectivity sufficient for you to go through all the materials? Okay. 50% are agreeing. 7% are saying they strongly agree, which, which does push it into the majority. But we have a sizable amount. 35% are struggling like hell with the network. All right, so they disagree. And then there's even another 7% who strongly disagree. It's almost crippling, I'm assuming. So that's very important for us to take stock of and consider in when we are designing. All right, then it said UNESCO provided you with some data. Please identify any issues in the process of receiving and using the data. And what did people say? Um, we'll go down to the bottom. The, the latest ones are coming in. Um, Network challenges, network problems, uh, network, uh, poor network. But there's also quite a lot of people saying no problems, no problems, no problems. So it does look like it varies from place to place and from person to person, according to um, your specific environment. But it does mean we need to be a little bit careful about putting in too much heavy bandwidth um, uh, activities. I know, for example, there were quite a few videos in the tutorial so maybe we need to steer clear of those did you manage to complete the tutorials well um in the time frame of the five days uh it's very gratifying uh, almost 86 percent of saying yes but there are still 14 percent of people who are not have not yet got through all four okay if you completed the tutorials how long did it take now when we designed them we were we were aiming for about 60 minutes uh, and we found that um, between 30 and 60 minutes, 43%, and from 60 to 90, 25%. And then over 90 is quite sizable, 27. So um, it's, it looks like it's taking people slightly longer than what we, uh, what we anticipated when we designed them. So that's interesting. The length of the tutorials was sufficient for mastery of the skills. I mean, it's all very well to do a tutorial, but did you actually feel you can do it? All right. And it looks like that, uh, yeah, you guys thought that they weren't too long, that you, um, uh, the amount of skill that they wanted you to achieve, you could do in just over 60 minutes. 47 and 17 are positive. 31 is neutral, and then just these two little negatives here. And there's some explanation as to why. What did you find most useful? There's, well, I'll have to go through them carefully and do a thematic analysis. And then we asked you, do you think you could use these uh, for independent study, or do you think they should rather be done as little face-to-face -face training sessions? We'll look at the bottom. Um, they work well for both as a teaching aid for face to face, face to face, face to face, face to face. I think it's both um, face to face. So that does beg the question then that maybe you should be using these for your own continuing professional development of your colleagues at school. And that was the next question. Do you think you could use them? Could you take over my job? I mean, let's face it, it's not rocket science. Um, and if I've done my job properly, you should be able to pick it up and run with it. So the thinking then is, this was like a train the trainer type of training. So we were hoping then that you would go, oh, this is something I could do for continuing professional development sessions at school. All right. So um, you've got the links. You know where all these these tutorials are um, you can just give people the links and they can go in and have a go you can then if you use a face-to-face -face model you could do a little bit in front of them you could project it on the wall and then talk to them about um, this is how you find oers on youtube and you can actually demonstrate it while they're watching so it's all nicely structured and all the materials are available so have a think about that quite a lot of you said yes 88 percent said yes this is something that they you could do only a very small percentage five percent said no this is <laughs> they're not interested um 
add then we've got these other these ones here not ready blah 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 so there's a little um uh group who are holding out there all right and that was it so uh, at the moment we've got 58 we started with i think it was 36 so i've got 36 56 22 responses from group two so far and there are 31 of you in the zoom and i think there's 38 of you in total in the group so uh keep going if you're not submitted yet keep keep submitting you can see how valuable this data is to us uh, in terms of the design process all right so keep them coming if you've not already submitted uh, as this information is very important okay right um generally then we can see that there are issues there are some problems but uh, on the whole people are very appreciative of oh, hang on i must stop this why does everyone phone me during the session um um all right so um the next thing is the um the process in order for me to evaluate the oers so the trick then is um So I've got people all over me here. Hang on, let me just. So the trick then is, uh, do you need more time? And we found group one actually did need more time. EduConnect is not that smooth. Uh, and so therefore uh, you need to actually sometimes have a few goes in order for it to work properly. So what I'm going to suggest then is that I give you to Wednesday. Remember you have to upload two OERs into the database and that unlike the little handout that i gave you um you can't give me the the little metadata page you can only get to that point where it says um submitted for approval so that's as far as you need to go but then you need to let me know that you've got there so that i can go behind the scenes and have a look at what you've submitted all right so let me put that in the whatsapp group so you can see um uh, assignment extension until Wednesday at 1700 hours. That's five o'clock in the evening. All right. Um, uh, please, can you persevere and make sure you have submitted two resources? All right, so um, I've put it in the WhatsApp. So those people who didn't quite get in, at least they can um, they can see that there's a little extension. All right, I'm hoping that proves useful. All right, they're still coming in. Let me just see what this other group is up to. Um, all right um let's go back and just see if there are any queries or questions i've more or less covered what i would like to cover this week in terms of the course content and in terms of um, all the little activities etc can you um raise your hands if you have any further queries or questions am i that good that there's no queries or questions or am I that bad that you can't wait to get out of here? Mm -hmm. All right, so we've been going for 42 minutes or so. So I'm going to pa uh, uh, pause there then. I will keep in contact with you in the WhatsApp group. The WhatsApp group we will keep open indefinitely, um, especially uh, while we're still waiting to get all the resources to come in. So um, uh, please 
uh, use the WhatsApp group for any queries or questions about the assignment or any of the tutorials, et cetera, et cetera. Um, we can continue to uh, communicate that way. But I think the uh, the Zoom meeting is uh, is good enough. I think we're done. Uh, uh, do you have anything to say? Um, so in that case, I, I'm going to sign off. Oh, there's one thing in the chat. Let me just see what the chat's saying. Uh, Chinyepi says, yeah, I have submitted to my OER Benjamin. on EduConnect, but how do I share them on other online platforms? Okay, so that's a good question. EduConnect, uh, despite its um, um, roughness, uh, actually is quite easy to submit. All right, if you want to OER Commons, then there's a video in tutorial number four, which shows you how to do it. And the problem with OER Commons is that you have to actually provide them with a URL. They don't want your file. They want a link to your file. So in the tutorial in number four, we show you how to put it on your Google account and then provide a public link to OER Commons. And then you can stick it on there as well. All right, so have a look at, um, at uh, tutorial four explains it in detail how to do it. It's a quite a long video. It's about eight minutes. Um, but um, but um, yeah, if you can do that, that would be great. All right. Any other queries, questions? Sydney, thank you very much. Temba, thank you very much. Um, I'm going to sign off. Uh, thank you very much, everyone. You are free to go. And I hope to chat to you in the WhatsApp.